I am not a fan of PowerPoint, to be honest. In fact, I really appreciate the description of death by PowerPoint. You've probably been in that situation where somebody starts a PowerPoint presentation and it's slide after slide after slide and it just won't stop. It's awful. It's dreadful. By the 10th slide, you lose the will to live. That's death by PowerPoint. I really wouldn't recommend when you're doing public speaking using PowerPoint at all. In fact, I would probably go as far as saying not having any presentation would be the best approach. I admire greatly the TED Talks approach where the attention is on the speaker and the speaker moves around and the speaker is talking and they're gesticulating and you see their facial expression. I think that's a much more engaging type of presentation and form of public speaking. However, I do understand too that in the legal services industry, sometimes we need to visit potential clients and it would be an idea for us to be able to present some information to them. We could bore them to death through some brochures which are glanced at and then dropped in the bin. We could inflict upon them death by PowerPoint, but a much nicer idea I would like to recommend for you is called a placemat. Now, what is this? A placemat is actually something that you physically print. It's not A4, it's larger. What is the largest size of paper called? Would that be A3 or A2? So it's, it's significantly larger. It's on nice, good quality paper, maybe even card. You would laminate it and this would be color printed. Now, what do you put on your placemat? The placemat has four quadrants on one side and four quadrants on the other side. So this is the equivalent of eight slides of information. Now, it is very important to have a nice designer, one of your very talented marketing colleagues might help you with this, and the information on the placemat should not be able to be understood just by reading it. You can put some graphs, some maps, some diagrammatic pictographic information, but it shouldn't be obvious what it's about. We don't want text heavy information. And moreover, it is in no particular chronological order. So you roll this up and you bring it in a tube when you take it to your, your client or your prospect meeting. And when you come there, you unroll it and you give a placemat to each of the attendees and you have one for yourself. So what's the purpose of this? Well, with a placemat, you immediately catch people's interest. Everyone is thinking, wow, what's this? This is strange. They start playing with it, turning it over. It's bright, it's colorful. What is this? You've got their attention. And you can start doing a presentation. You stand up and you talk. And as you're talking, you tell them to look at the top left corner, the bottom right corner to turn over. And it gives you a flexibility that your presentation doesn't need to be linear. You can jump from one of the quadrants to another of the quadrants as you wish. The more interest they have in a quadrant, the more time you can spend on it. If they're not interested in one of them, then you don't, you don't need to spend time on it at all. So that's the idea of a placemat. It takes a little bit of time to prepare them, but it's really engaging. I saw this some years ago in Norway, but outside of Norway and a limited use in Scandinavia, most of the continental Europeans don't have this concept, let alone in Central America, Africa, or Southeast Asia. There's nothing to prevent you using placemats. Moreover, after you leave, people don't want to throw the placemat away. If you've given someone a brochure, it can be dumped. If you give people a placemat, they, they don't want to throw it away because it's interesting and it's bright and it's colorful. So it can go viral. They will put it on their table. Someone else in the company will ask what that is. They'll give it to someone. So it actually works as a form of advertising even after you've left the, the uh, premises of the client. So that's the concept of the placemat. I have done quite a few projects on helping law firms define value propositions and legal products and diagrammatic information from a sales perspective. If that's interesting for you, I can help you with the placemat. This is a fun, interesting activity. You can have them practice-based for corporate, real estate, IP. You can have them industry-based. You could even have them product-based. Uh, if you want my help with that, email me, jjmcveigh at nichedonia.com, and I can share some thoughts and templates and best practices. Thank you.